Hello everyone, Dr. Metal here. Like and subscribe if you like the video. But uh, this is going to be a unique video. Usually I just play guitar covers of songs I love. But this will be my first guitar lesson. Ooh. So I wanted to do a lesson on how to guitar solo. And I know there's a million options on YouTube on how to do this. Everybody claims they have the fastest way to get there. When I was learning, I looked at those videos and it just didn't click for me. So I ended up going a different route to figuring it out on my own. And it really wasn't that mysterious. Uh, basically, all I did was I flipped through this book, which is simply a book of guitar scales I got for Christmas one year. Uh, found the E minor scale because I learned that many, many rock uh, songs are based off this scale. And uh, just noodled around on it and uh, for several months kind of struggled with it. But uh, eventually I put together a very simple chord progression on GarageBand. And then I played that scale over it. And that's when it finally clicked for me. And I decided I can play guitar solos. And then from there, uh, you just go on a, a new journey to being a you know more advanced player. So th this lesson is going to be for beginners to intermediates. And uh, my hope is that you'll just be able to use this as your catapult uh, to be in a next level guitar player. So hope you find it helpful. Again, uh, like and subscribe if you do. And let me know if you'd like more videos like this because uh, I feel like I have a lot to offer because uh, I've, I've been learning a lot uh, since I've been playing guitar. So hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's just go over the E minor scale. So there can be a lot more uh, complications to what I'm about to tell you, but I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to call it the E minor scale. We're going to start on E. So it's going to be on the A string, and uh, we'll, we'll just call it by the numbers. A lot of people are used to the number scale from looking at tabs, so that's how I present this too. So we'll be on 7 of the A, 9 of the A, 10 of the A, 7 of the D, 9 of the D, 10 of the D, 7 of the G, and then 9 of the G. So that 9 note, that is that is also the E note, so that's the whole E minor scale. Okay. So the thing to take away from this is those are the notes. This guitar, there's a lot more of this guitar than just what I played. It's a whole neck of those notes repeating. So a big key to success is being able to transcribe those notes to the rest of this neck. So, so that would be the job to do over the next several months to years of guitar playing. And uh, along the way, you'll find a lot of fancy ways to play that scale that are really awesome. But for now, we're just going to use that position. All right, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and present the chord progression to play over using the E minor scale. And then uh, I'll give a demonstration of the backing track and then me playing over the E minor scale to show you uh, what it sounds like. And then from there on, um, I actually have a link in the description to download the MP3 track. And then you can use that to practice on your own. Um, give me some uh, feedback in the comments if there's other questions or uh, additional information about the, the subject of this video and I can present more, but that's really as simple as it is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put up the chord progression as a tab, and then uh, I'm, right now I'm going to play through it. So here we go. So there's a lot of extra technique in there, palm muting and whatnot, but it's basically a 
E minor chord into a D5 chord into a C5 chord, uh, back to an E5 chord. And just one more thing I wanted to make clear. One more thing I want to make clear. The notes in those chords, they are all within the E minor scale. So this is just a matter of being legal, so to speak, musically. All the notes in the scale or all the notes in that E minor scale that was presented uh, just sh shortly before us. Um, that is another piece of information to help this click. As long as I am using the notes within the scale, most of the time we're going to sound great. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm oversimplifying a little bit, but uh, for these purposes, that is true. So uh, go ahead and uh, work with this scale, and uh, I really think it's going to be a, uh, a way to elevate yourself to the next uh, era of your guitar playing. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and do a demonstration of this uh, with the backing track and show you uh, what can be done with it. So here we go. Well, that concludes my first guitar lesson. Woo. Well, it was pretty simple, but I wanted to start simple just because I want to make sure that I was providing something useful. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, let me know in the comments, like and subscribe. Uh, again, it's, it's really uh, something I want to get out there so more people like me that were struggling uh, have another resource to get to where you want to be. We all want to play like Van Halen. I don't know if we'll ever get there, but I mean, it's a great aspiration. George Lynch, Yngwie Malmsteen, and that's certainly you know, where I wanted to go. Um, and I've been trying, and I feel like I can provide a lot of useful tools to get there. Um, but yeah, uh, playing guitar solos is certainly something else that alleviates anxieties from life too. I think I know we all have them. Certainly I do. and. Uh, I don't think I'll ever quit playing guitar, so um, if you're one of those people, um, you know, always keep trying. Um, guitar is one of those things that always gives back as long as you don't give up on it. So let me know if you want more content like this, and uh, I will provide it, and uh, give me more topics or suggestions, and uh, I'll be talking to you guys later. Alright, thank you.